My goodness, I wanted to do like an aesthetic intro to this video, but baby, I'm too excited. Like there's literally been snow on the ground for the past like two mornings when we woke up. And if you're from Texas, you know, like we don't be getting snow till like February. And it's a little bit of snow. It's like ice, but <laughs> still how exciting. We might actually get some snow days this year. How fun would that be? cancel our trip to Denver baby because we got snow in Texas good morning you guys <laughs> it is Sunday morning and we are headed to the donut shop I'm pretty sure there's a Shipley's right up here and I do not want to get out of the car so I was gonna try to hit there and get a couple quick donuts and kolaches for the kids and I think I'm lying to myself like I think I think I want to believe it's a Shipley's up here but I think it's, I think it's not. <laughs> and I don't want to drive all the way to that other freaking donut shop. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> we do donuts on Sunday now in the morning because the kids don't really go, well, the kids don't go to school anymore and I used to get them donuts on Fridays. So we're doing it. Okay, there's a wow donuts of six minutes walking. So what is it driving? Is it over here by Trader Joe's for the hoes? Turn left. Oh, it's over here on this in this little shopping. They better be open too. So let's go through the light. Through the light. And it's 600 feet turn. Oh, I love waking up on Sunday mornings and it's early and nobody else is outside and the world is so quiet and there's barely any cars. I'm trying to decide if I should go to Starbucks. Oh, wow, donuts. All right. Yeah. Let's go in here and see what they have. Oh, we need a wallet, a key, probably a gum. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. I was trying to sleep in. <laughs> and then you know what? Or sleep. Okay, so we woke up at like five with the, with the baby. And then, and then he went back to sleep. And then as soon as he went back to sleep, the other kids ran in the room and woke him up. So then he was up and then their dad was up. And then he was on Instagram telling me it's time to get up. I said, if you don't let me get a little bit of sleep, everybody is still laying in the bed. But now here I am. Ugh. We are a little bit running behind. We didn't get out the bed till 7.45. Yikes. Okay, let's go. Okay, can I do a dozen donut holes? Okay. And then can I have eight glazed? Okay. Oh, look. That looks good. It's so interesting. And then can I have four of these? Thank you. I don't even eat donuts, but I want to try one because I'm like, they, they look good. Yeah. They look really good. What's your favorite? Okay. It's really good. It's not like overly sweet or anything. Okay. I'll try that one. Yeah, I'll try the salted caramel. Okay. If you like coffee, you will like it. None of that cream is very sweet. Oh, that is so cute. This is like a little hidden gem. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me get back to the house. Y'all, I'm super excited about that. They have literally like all types of donuts in there. It's called Wow Donuts. It's off of Inwood. Um, it's so cute in there too. Like it's real aesthetic in there. I didn't even like get the whole picture, but it's like really cute in there. Like they have like a little wall with like tea, like 
just different stuff and like all these little like flowers and some led lights it's really cute in there oh my gosh i wish smoothie king was open because i could really go for a smoothie i didn't go to starbucks because i got an espresso so i was like let me make a coffee at home stop spending my money the literally the snow icon is on on the car like it's really snow out here y'all it's really snow out here well anyways happy sunday y'all we got into the vlog a little bit earlier than i expected but um yeah it's just sunday morning so getting our little donuts we're getting ready to go to church and then when we come home from church i really have my day strategically planned out like this whole week i feel like has to like go exactly as i planned it because if not like it's disney week baby like we're going to it's thanksgiving we're going to disney um we're doing a lot of freaking stuff this week so i'm like i planned out my schedule last week i'm like okay this is what we're doing 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 so today is just obviously a sunday reset day so we're going to church and then we'll probably like go to brunch after church and then come home and our grocery um order is going to be getting delivered put away our groceries we cleaned yesterday or like i didn't really clean that much but aaron cleaned up and i had cleaned a little bit the night before so the house is clean so hopefully today is just like a chill day we're gonna cook lasagna i found this um like lasagna cheese recipe on tiktok of course my cookbook we're gonna whip up some some lasagna today so that's the plan for today and then like i said we real busy this whole week so should be a good nice fun long vlog and i'm like so sad because i woke up this morning right a huge pimple on my forehead like be for real be for real like now i have scars from the last one and then i have a new one over here i can't i can't but it's okay i'm gonna trust the process and i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing and then hope for the best my problem is is i stop using products after they don't work the, after one day i'd be like oh i woke up with this pimple on my face <laughs> i need a new skincare routine like i never get, give stuff a chance to like actually work so i'm gonna be better and let this stuff work but okay let's get inside because it's eight o'clock now and i got a shower but the one thing that i do love is i never have to get the kids ready okay you will never catch me putting on their clothes in the morning especially like for church like maybe if it was a regular morning okay i might brush their teeth but um i don't know how to get them ready i don't gotta brush their hair i'm gonna do carson's hair today though um but i don't gotta put their clothes on i literally just have to get myself ready i have to feed everybody and i have to get myself ready and that's it we love we love a dad that parents that actually parents or dads but you know what i will say i hate when people give him the wow you're doing what you're supposed to be doing they don't need to be because like nobody does that for moms you know what i mean a mom does her job and people are like oh great that's your job and then dads brush their kids teeth and they're like oh my god <laughs> like what is going on here all right, cool. Let's get this. Chocolate milk for the kiddos. Oh, I don't. That's what I'm missing. Oh my god. Oh my grocery oh, order. I'm missing chocolate milk. I'm not sure I understand. Shh. Be quiet, sir. Oh shit, he's gonna be so mad. Boys, come eat. I gotta go back to the gas station and go to 7 Eleven because Aaron was like, Can you please get me some backwoods? And I forgot. <coughs> Next, I'm just gonna open everything up and put it on the table. Hey, y'all hear me? Come eat. I gotta run back to the gas station. I forgot. Oh my gosh, you have to see what kind of donuts they had. I was gonna call you, but I left my phone in the car. And it was closer than the one I was going to, so I stopped there. And like, I got you regular donuts, because that's what you asked for. But they have some really cool stuff in there. I'm gonna take a bite of this one. I ended up getting the salted caramel, because that's what the girl said was her favorite. That's very good. 
they said none of their creams are like super sweet and that's why i don't really eat donuts because i don't like the super sweet this is delicious i also don't like the actual donut it's just too thick but that's just me i don't really like donuts that cream is so good mm, okay i got two donut holes and one sausage okay all right back from the gas station let's do a mini get ready with me for church shall we first thing i gotta do is get in the shower but i will show y'all because y'all know i can't put you on to anything hair or makeup related so the best i can do for you is show you how i smell good so i'm gonna show, show y'all the stuff that i'm using right now it's sunday so i'm gonna do my let me just get it. Let me just get it. Hold on. So it's Sunday. I usually do this like once a week with the pan oxy. I'm gonna just put it under my armpits while I'm in the shower. This is gonna be my base soap. If you don't watch my hygiene routine, these are my two base cleansers to like really get clean, eliminate odor, right? This stuff, I don't know how I'm just now finding out about this. Salt hair. Oh, and wait until they drop. They're like out of stock on one of their really popular fragrances right now. This smells like baby like an adult baby wash like oh my gosh so good been loving that then we have the luxe unfiltered number 28 potty polish and this smells so good it's just a clean coconutty light sweet fragrance these go real well together and then i'm i, I randomly decided to shave the other day like down there right don't know why but it's going okay so far it's because i didn't want to go get a wax that's really what it was so i was like let me just see what happens i haven't shaved in like two years anyways shaved this is the only razor that i'll use down there it's the hydra slip razor it's a men's razor it has five blades then get you one of these for those places in the little tight corners spread your legs real wide and get in there just get, trust me okay but I'm gonna get in the shower and then I'll tell you guys what I use after 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 I get up. Be ready. Say you're gonna be in love with me. It's driving me crazy. Hey. Yeah, okay, wrist so wet, I might dry. Bitch, don't talk, you going out town. I done made six half for the whole week. Plug on a plane, then I'm going no tea. I done made four, five, seven on what? I'm hopping that scat and I'm better your block. Nigga, want scrap, well, let it go rock. My little nigga got it, I bet he gon' pop. I can make ten off face, no feeling, six got like killing on smoking gorilla. Couple my niggas just caught that nigga that was running off dog, I know they gon' kill him. Smoking on killer and taking your bitch on the trip, and I'm fucked on the floor of my villa. I ain't got time for two things. These stupid ass holding their feelings. Hey, all in the pen my bitches just call and they get it. They know that this falling off thinning. Chocolate vanilla can't hot, so I hot that the dealer. I caught a new car and I tin it. Won't lie, little bitch had a nigga down. But that it all out of my feelings. I'm a set of money so tall in the crib. We be looking like the roof came out of my ceiling. Soon as I hop in our tomb, scooping that bit like a spoon. I got this effort to sit like that bitch is in tune. Look at it fade when we walked in the room. Hey. Boom and PFB vanish for the kiwi area. Let me change out the memory card and then I'll be right back so we can do smell goods and outfits. Okay, my camera is acting really weird, so we're just gonna cross our fingers and hope for the best that this footage doesn't get erased. And this is why you always gotta keep a back up. My backup's broken. Okay. Anyways, let me move this real quick. Let's get ready. Can't wait till I don't have to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? All right. Lotion. I'm gonna do summer Fridays on the majority of my body, just because it's like a light, um, like cocoa buttery vanilla scent. Ain't nobody gonna be smelling my legs at church, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream and put that on like my upper neck, chest, and arms. Real quick, real quick. I'm gonna leave. 
leave soon. Okay. And then for perfumes, I'm gonna go in with the Sol de Janeiro. This is basically like the intense version of this. So since we're going to church, that's what I'm going to I'm going to spray myself a couple times because I'm going to spray my clothes too. And then I'm going to go in with the Kaoli Vanilla. Cool, cool. Let's see. OOTD. These jeans. Is my Gucci on? Probably. Anyways, I always get a lot of questions about these jeans. These jeans are from the brand page they are freshly dry so they're gonna be and I put lotion on that one's the good idea. Okay. They're from the brand page. I got them from Nima Marcus. I will link them if y'all want me to. I bought these in a rush one time because I had somewhere to go and Neiman was the only place that had jeans in the mall that I was in. Um uh, so they're expensive but I do really like them. Especially when they're not like freshly dry. I need to like stretch them out a little bit. But... I put this on first. When I meant to put on my bodysuit first. Hold on. Boom. I'm actually going to put on a bodysuit. All of my um, bodysuits that I would normally wear are in the at the laundry and they're not going to be back till today. So, just kidding for the jeans. I need to put this on first. This is like an old bodysuit that I have from a long time ago. I think it's from Fashion Nova. I usually wear a long sleeve one since it's getting cold now from Skims, but all of my black ones are dirty, apparently. But I'm gonna wear a jacket, so it's cool. Mom bod. Actually wore underwear today. Surprise, surprise. I usually never wear underwear, but I guess since I'm wearing jeans. Okay. Bodysuit on. Put the pants back on. Alright. Same thing every week. I'm a cartoon character. I will literally wear the same outfit to church every weekend. I do not care. But I really like the Hermes belt because, um, because they're reversible and then you can buy the buckles separately. And so you can like get whatever color buckle you want. This is wrong. How is this wrong? I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to have air put it together. I always do this. It's all wrong, the buckle piece is all wrong. It's not supposed to go over here. Belt on, and then I'm still wearing open toed shoes because I haven't gotten any boots yet. When I when we moved, I literally threw away like all the stuff that I have. So like that's why my closet is so empty because I don't have anything anymore. I like got rid of pretty much everything. I don't know if I want to wear these or not. It's cold outside, so I should probably should. But I usually either wear my little Gucci pumps or the Iran sandals. I don't know what else to wear today. Hmm. I have these in brown, white, and black, and I absolutely love them. I want them in some more colors for the summertime. I think I'm gonna wear these today. And then this coat I got last year. I can't remember where it's from. I think I might have a link for it somewhere. I'll have to look at one of my old videos, but. Boom. Jacket on. Does it make sense that I'm wearing jacket and sandals? No, but it's okay. And then for my bag, it's the bag that I usually take. Um, I don't know exactly which bag it is or what size it is, but it's just a little bit of time and it fits a diaper wipes a bottle and then I just take my um like my gum and my everyday stuff I need to switch my purses downstairs though 
So we're gonna take that bag for jewelry. I decided to get these earrings. I know, if you guys know, like the Louis Vuitton ones are really popular that have the logo in them. And Fendi has theirs, and I like Fendi's um, jewelry selection. So I wear these. And then <clears throat> put the bracelet on. All my jewelry that I have is Fendi. And I like it because obviously it's not like the most affordable thing in the entire world. However, they did just drop a line that's really similar to, I'm about to show you guys, like it looks like Cartier and you know Cartier's jewelry is like super popular right now. Like they look like this. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Let me see. That's Fendi, and then I love this one. I just recently got these um, the last time I went. This one has the crystals all over it. Super cute. So these two fingers, and then literally, like I said, every single ring that I have. Fendi. And then put a little of this behind the ears. It's the um, Nest Madagascar Vanilla. And then I'm just going to spray my clothes to hold the scent. Boom. Fix my hair and then I'll be ready to go. I'm going to put this in my purse. So this is what we look like every week. It's always the same. Oh, my both my cameras are messed up, so I just switched to the other one. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I have just lost a whole bunch of footage. I repacked my purse, so we have formula. Let's put water in the bottle, some snacks, and then card holder, lip gloss. This is my favorite one from Summer Fridays, so I can focus. Both of these cameras are full. Go. And then we have diapers and wipes in the car, so. Alright, well that sucks. I showed you guys the boys' outfit and everything, but I'll show you later. It was cute. Everything fits in here. Nice and good. This camera has like a glitching problem, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. Like, if it's gonna actually work or not. This one is now like not reading the memory cameras. I'm over it. I'm gonna have to go to Best Spot probably today. Hello, my handsome baby. Did you just wake up? Are you so sweet and cute in here? Oh my goodness, goodness. Look at this cute baby. Look at this little cute baby. In the last vlog, we got a whole bunch of new stuff from Target, and this is one of the outfits. How cute are you? Hmm? Hi. Say, look at me. I look so cutie, woody, woody, woody. You have a booger? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're leaving church Are now. We're gonna head over to I'm putting him up to the biscuit bar to go eat breakfast. Um and so yeah, I'll see you when we get when we get there. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna call you when I'm landing. Don't you don't wanna be here when I'm camera's getting a flashing. We have arrived. This no camera is like so zoomed in. Yikes! Okay. Let me change a little better. Ooh. Okay, we just got back home. The food was good. It was just too like crowded and cramped in there and loud for me to like put camera out and vlog. Um, our Walmart delivery got delivered. I guess we're gonna do a little haul right now. This is like the junk haul. Aaron wanted candy and then, you know, some things you can't get at other places you have to get at Walmart. Taco Bell hot sauce. Everybody's getting ready to go down for a nap but I gotta put these groceries away. So I ended up getting like all the Taco Bell sauces, the Chipotle sauce. We got some Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce for our chicken biscuit or for our for our chicken sandwiches. Red onion. 
And then these are my favorite little instant pastas on a quick little lunch or dinner. The Zatarain's um, Black and Chicken Alfredo. And then I got some cookies. I want to try the pecan, it's not the pecan, turtle delight, and then chocolate chip, of course. We have another grocery order coming from Kroger with everything, like produce and drinks this afternoon. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go change my clothes, wash my face, get all settled in. Yeah, we gotta figure out. I gotta put the baby down for a nap. Carson fell asleep in the car. We gotta put Carter down for a nap. So let me get everybody situated real fast and then I'll be right back. I know I shouldn't, but I'm about to pop this pimple on my forehead because it hurts so bad. A little update on my skin also. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back on the Neurex app and I'm going to ask for them to prescribe me an oral antibiotic, which I'm not going to be able to take probably until after I get my surgery. But I think I need something from the inside that's really going to help with like the hormonal and cystic acne because I can definitely tell that that's what's coming back. Um, at first, I was just having like closed comedones, which is like when your pores are clogged. And now like this is under the skin. I have one on my cheek and that's all like hormonal under the skin acne. Um... And I've been using the Tretinoin. I've been building myself up. I didn't go into like using it every single night, but I think I'm just gonna use like the antibacterial thing they gave me and the Tretinoin like every other night in a moisturizer and take out everything else that's in my skincare routine besides my like cleansers um, and see what happens. I put my face mask on. I did pop the pimple and it was extremely full of pus. It was disgusting. And it hurts so bad. So now I have this Aztec clay mask on and I look crazy. I also put it on my lips. I don't know why. Let me wipe it off my lips. <laughs> I can't even laugh. My face hurts so bad. Oh, Jesus. Detox my lips. I don't know. I don't know why I put it on my lips. Do they look plumper? Ooh. Let me look in the mirror. Hold on. I can't tell. I was sitting down to edit and then Kroger was like, oh, we're going to deliver your order early. So I was like, oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to do a grocery haul. <laughs> This mask makes me look like scary. It makes my eyes look like it's giving a little dark. <laughs> I can't even laugh. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Anyways, we're not gonna talk about it. Okay. First things first, we got some Ritz crackers. Coconut water on coconut water. This is the sauce for tonight. It's the Rayo's homemade sauce. We got a pack of macaroni cheese. More coconut water. Hot chocolate. More pasta sauce. Got Sprite. Is this Sprite Zero or something? Why did it look like that? Didn't Sprite get new packaging? I got some oatmeal. Some cookies and oatmeal. Lasagna for tonight. Aaron likes these pancake sausage on the stick things. So, breakfast. The kids love these, you guys. So, I got two boxes of them. And then I also got these. I like these and so do the kids. The little cinnamon waffles. But the kids really like these French toast sticks. So, I think I got two of them. I did not get two sprites. But, sure. Why not? I got a little thing of Coke. 
I don't really drink soda, but Aaron likes soda, so. That's why we have a Coke and Sprite. And then if we have people over, which is very rarely, but another thing of hot chocolate. Sunny D for the kiddos. Fresh parsley. We need that from Zarnia tonight. 12 eggs. I didn't get a lot of anything like fresh. Mozzarella, Parmesan, Pepper Jack. I definitely should have got a better thing of ground beef for the lasagna. I'm probably gonna have to do a Target drive order. I only got one pound, I'm not sure that too. We got these little sausages. I always get them in beef. That way I can eat them too. And the kids mostly eat these for breakfast. They love these. They love them. And then I started getting lactose-free milk. Just because one, it goes, it stays fresher and longer. Like this will be good until January 25th. And sometimes, like, we are, like, on and off with milk. Like, sometimes the kids will eat a lot of cereal one week, and then the next week they won't, and then the milk will go bad. Sometimes I'll cook and I'll need milk. Sometimes I don't. The milk goes bad. Anyways, it's the same thing. Probably better for you anyways. It's lactose free. And, um, it doesn't go bad as fast, so. And then, shredded lettuce for tacos and sandwiches. Got some ricotta cheese. Okay. There was more groceries. I was like, who the hell is banging on the door? Like I, I think I told you that. We don't have like a front door. So like, we have a ring camera, but I don't have my, my phone on silent. So you, I couldn't hear that there was somebody at the door. Anyways. Wow. Okay. Well, this is all drinks. It's literally just a crap ton more. Coconut water, orange juice, apple juice. And Coke, apparently. I ordered a lot of drinks, I think, because as soon as we get back from Thanksgiving, I'll kind of be like, down now. Or from Disney, because for my surgery. So I just ordered a lot of drinks. And then I'm assuming, I'm not going to be cooking, so I don't know what the kids going to do today. Daddy going to have to be <laughs> No, I'm kidding. We'll probably just be doing a lot of takeout, but. Okay, ricotta. Got some Italian cheese. Strawberries. Cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls. I could just magically like, boop, and put all that stuff away. But I'm actually gonna take my time today and do it right because I have not been, I have not been stocking the fridge correctly or doing anything how I'm supposed to do so today. We're gonna do it the right way. This is what it looks like with the drinks. I feel like that's the only thing that makes it look cute in here. The rest of the fridge is pretty good.
the floors. I just finished cleaning up really fast and I'm gonna mop the floors and then we're just gonna have a leftover potato soup from last night. So if y'all saw last week's vlog when I made the soup, we had like half a pot left of it. We're just gonna eat that instead of cooking a whole new meal or else that would just go to waste. I didn't realize there was like so much left in there. So we're just gonna eat that for dinner then. and then we'll make lasagna tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Staying hydrated is probably one of the most important and easiest ways to maintain good hygiene. Since our body is mostly made of water and helps all of our internal systems stay in balance, the first thing that I do every morning is drink a glass of water, and I'll be the first to admit that drinking water or upping your intake can be easier said than done, and I'm not the best water drinker, so I love to switch it up and make it a little bit more fun by adding in a liquid IV pack to add a little bit of flavor, and my current favorite flavor is the Concord Grape, which is actually surprising because I'm not usually like a grape-flavored person, but this is really good, and not only is it in enjoyable to drink you're getting more benefits than just drinking regular water because the liquid iv packs have added electrolytes that hydrates you two times faster than regular water so remember whatever's going on outside of your body is usually a direct reflection of what's going on inside of your body so we want to make sure that we're getting our water intake staying hydrated and if you decide to check out liquid iv make sure to use my code mckenna walker for 20 percent off thank you again to liquid iv for sponsoring that portion of today's video Good morning. We've been up since 4.30, being productive. <laughs> I feel like I'm fine waking up at four o'clock. It's like when the sun starts rising, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go back to bed. But now Carter's up, Carmelo woke up at six. So I just stayed in his room and let him play on the floor and I like edited um, some more, and then it's seven now. Hi. <laughs> and Carter's awake. So we're about to make breakfast for everybody. I have no idea what I want to make though. To be honest, what should we make for breakfast? So we're gonna do French toast, sausage, Probably fruit. I don't think I'm gonna make any eggs. I'm so glad I ended up prepping all the fruit last night. I didn't, the, the clips deleted when I was like doing all the fruit stuff because um, my cameras are like broken. So I'm gonna have to go to Best Buy today because that's not gonna work. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, turn both of them in basically because now both of them are having the same issues that they've been having since I turn them in a long time ago they just decide when they're gonna glitch and so this one spazzed out yesterday deleted the footage this one deleted the footage um i don't know what's wrong with this one. oh it won't read the memory card sometimes it just like picks and chooses anyways so i'm just gonna go get the same exact camera buy it and then by the time my cameras get back i can still return return it does that make sense so yeah that's what i'm gonna do <sighs> so anyways yeah i'm gonna do that and then i think i'm just gonna go ahead and get well actually i'm gonna wait until these come back from service i really want to get the sony e10 but i've been waiting because i know that these are broken and so they're gonna have to give me store credit so i'm gonna use the credit that i get for one of them and get the e10 does that make sense today's monday so i have decided that monday is the best day for us to have family movie night so monday movie night because we used to do stuff like on Fridays, but now we're usually doing something on Friday night. The kids have basketball Tuesday, Thursday. So tonight we're gonna do a cute little movie night. Um, put the popcorn machine out, go by Target and do like a hot chocolate bar. Basically just kind of like similar to what we did last Sunday. Or maybe that was two Sundays ago when all my family was here. Um, and yeah, just something cute. In other news, I did pick up my face, so I'm going to be looking a hot mess for the next several days. Also, we got in some, or we're getting in some stuff throughout this week 
I'll have to tell you guys. You guys need to make your list to Santa this week. Mom, where are you going if you pick at yourself? I'm not going anywhere. All right. Um, yeah, we need to do letters to Santa and then finish planning out our 30 days of Christmas, or 25 days of Christmas today. So I'll probably do that. Yes. Mom, yeah. We watch Paw Patrol at the gym. They have a TV. Oh, yeah. And a table and color for us. And they have paper for us to color. Yeah. Mm hmm. You gonna go to the gym today? I don't know. Damn right, we take turns being prone. I get real accountable when I'm alone. I get real about it all when I'm alone. It's so crazy missing you when I get on Now Julio make me fool for you Now I might hit your phone up with that ba-ba-ba It's my da-da-da, it's my da All of this love is toxic All of this love is toxic All these bitches ain't cousin, no shit You a damn drug, yeah I was like some replay, running back like a DJ. Feel on your face while you eat that. Trying to make a bad bitch behave. I would just wait for you. I think we see a way for you. Thinking I would wait for you. You met them now, who you make me a fool for you. And I might hit the phone up with the ba ba ba. Missing my da da da. Missing that ah ah. All of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these kisses and cousins, nasty. You and them drugs, toxic. Problematic. You know that dick always been problematic. I'm gonna go on a walk, but I got the sudden urge to rearrange the furniture in the living room. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm trying to get Melo to get down, go down for a nap. He's just sitting in his bed right now. I'm gonna put these shorts on really fast. I told y'all I was gonna be looking crazy because I, I, I didn't put my face up. Ugh. Okay. I got these Nike sweatpants. Look, I literally waited for these for like eight weeks. And I got them in, and they literally look like boy shorts. I mean, they're cool. I'm still wearing them. They like my comfortable house cleaning pants, whatever. But <sighs> I got them from this Instagram shop. And I knew the wait time was going to be long, but when I ordered it, first of all, I had to, like, catch the drop. I had I missed the drop, like, three times, so I had to, like, wait. Because they only drop on Sundays at, like, 5 o'clock, right? And then they sell out immediately. Anyways, so when you're checking out, it looks like you're getting a pack of shorts and you're actually not you're getting one pair of shorts which they put in like the fine print but who fucking reads that you know what i'm saying so i was a little disappointed but it is what it is i look crazy because i always look crazy come on come on from the um oh. Let's go rearrange this furniture downstairs. Anyways, here's my thoughts. Y'all know, if you know. One, I can't find any place for my Christmas tree to go. It's driving me nuts. Two, I can't stand the layout of this. It drives me nuts. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna, the couch is modular so I can move the pieces around. So I'm thinking about making it longer this way and like taking this curve and putting it over here, right? And then putting the dining room table right here, like in front of the window, and kind of like scooting the couch. We're just gonna see what it looks like. I'm bored. I could be editing, but I just wanna see. I just, the idea came to me. Oh, no, with the ba ba ba, ba. Missing my da da da, missing that.
I literally spent the whole day rearranging the furniture just to ultimately five minutes ago bring it to <laughs> It just is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. It just, it is what it is. So, um, we're still going to do our movie night. I got the popcorn machine out. I'm going to make um, macaroni and hot dogs instead of lasagna because that just goes better. I think with a little movie, a little hot dog, you know what I'm saying? Um, and because it's late already, like it's like it's too late to make lasagna, let's be for real. So we're just gonna wrap up the night with, with a little movie, make a popcorn in our popcorn maker, and I'll make some hot dogs and macaroni, and then that's it. And we're gonna try again tomorrow. Today started off really good. We woke up early, started off strong. Lost it in the afternoon. So we gotta <laughs> try again tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. Today is Tuesday and on today's agenda, we are getting ready to pack for Miami. So the first thing I really need to do is check the weather. I should have probably been doing this way in advance to be honest with you guys. It's supposed to rain on Carter's birthday while we're there. Okay, but the high is 81, 83, 69. So it's going to be like normal Texas weather. Right? Um, I want to put together the air tags. So I already have two out and I labeled them luggage. So I'm going to put these in our luggage. I'm going to try to take as less, as less, as least things possible. I really don't want to have to drive a whole bunch of luggage. So we're just going to see what ends up happening I also don't know how to take formula through the airport like what are we supposed to do about that I need to look that up so these air tags are going to be the boys plus the stroller I think the only thing we're going to end up taking is the stroller because one of you guys so nicely told me that um you can actually like get car seats with rental cars and you don't need to take um your car all your car seats with you through the airport which i was really dreading because i'm like that's gonna take like forever we're gonna do this one as carter and then I got these little things that hook onto their clothes to go inside of here. You're really making this difficult for me, bud. Why are you squirming around? Take a nap. Take a nap. I know you're sleepy. What are you doing? You squirmy warmy. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna do one Carter, one Carson, and then Stroller and Mellow, just in case I don't think they'll get lost. But God forbid, Disney's a pretty big place. I'm not gonna be the mama losing my baby. Little rubber things do not wanna go on. He calling from Atlanta, say he miss me. Well, 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 well. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. Oh, let me just smack it. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> you being nosy and you sleepy. That's why we are here where we are. This one's yours, Mellow. I honestly don't even know what to pack for Disney. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what we should pack. I really should have thought this more through. Okay, we also need to open these Amazon packages. Super excited about one thing that's cut that I know for sure is in here. This ain't nothing special. It's Dove soap. I have decided that. I'm going back to the basics for my skin, which I know I should have done a while ago, but my problem is with my skin is like, my concern is always like my dark, my dark marks and hyperpigmentation. And with that, you have to exfoliate and use like, like exfoliating products to remove those dead layers of skin to help improve the look of dark marks. But then I get acne. So then it's like, I can't use that stuff when I'm having a breakout because I break out because my skin is sensitive. So I'm gonna focus on repairing my skin, repairing my skin barrier for now, and then slowly ease my way back into using the tretinoin and the retinols and the active ingredients because I tore my face up. I have like Neosporin on there, but I mean, obviously y'all can see it around there. I tore my face up. Um, of course, picking because why do I do that? I don't know, but I did. I picked at it. I popped it because somehow in my head, I always know what it's going to be, but I think that it would be better to pop it because I'm like, maybe it'll heal faster and then it just ends up being way worse. But that pimple that I started out with, it hurt so bad. So I ended up popping it. And of course, now it's this huge wound on my forehead and then I also had one on my cheek and yeah so we're just gonna have to thug it out I'm gonna be looking crazy for a while till I get my skin together and it just it is what it is I'm just looking at it as hopefully I can learn something out of this and then somebody who struggles with the same thing that I have I'll be able to help you out girl cuz shit I don't I don't know my skin is so up and down some days my skin is like so so clear so pretty so glowy and then the next week turn around hormonal acne closed chromodomes whatever they are i think after my surgery i am going to start taking an oral antibiotic just to help with the hormonal acne because now that i know that the hormonal acne is back um i know how this is gonna go and I know that the only thing that's going to help it is taking medicine because I have a little acne for like a year and a half. And I tried like literally everything under the sun and nothing, nothing helps it. And I don't want to waste my money on a whole bunch of like topical products. And I know that's not going to help. So we'll stay tuned for all of that. But we got in some stuff. I want to do like, to keep it organized for you guys, this is one thing, I'm super excited about this, I saw this girl on TikTok had this, and I was like, oh, yep, immediately. Other things in the box, but I'm just going to show you guys these things because they're like Christmas presents for the boys, and I want to like show you guys all the stuff that I got for like Mellow and then... Carter and Carson, I'm not going to be able to necessarily like show everything, but anyways, you guys get what I'm saying. I just want to be able to put it all one together so that way if you're looking for Christmas inspo, it'll be kind of, that's what I'm getting them, and then it won't be like all over the place. You'll have to search for it. So They have a couple of little things in there, and then the rest of their stuff is supposed to arrive this week before we go out of town. Things we got from Mommy. <laughs> Hello. You're just a sweet little boy, aren't you? Yeah. 
But everybody thinks you're so quiet. Why you don't ever show out on camera? You just spent all morning screaming. He doesn't cry a lot, but he does. He's just very vocal. So he just like, ah! like screams all morning. Anyways, look. Ooh, I don't even want to touch it. How cute this is. It is an LED mirror for your shower. Like, shut the front door. How cool is that? We're gonna set it up. Get it all set up. We need the instructions. I wonder what kind of batteries it takes. Because it looks like you need batteries. It takes AAA batteries, so I'll have to get some. I only have two. You okay? I only have two AAA batteries right now. So we'll have to set it up later, but it's literally so cute. I saw this girl have it on TikTok. It even comes with like this little thing to like clean it off. Real cute. And then the second thing that I got. You okay? Just take a nap. Am I being too loud? I don't want to pronounce pronounce her name wrong, but this influencer on Instagram, she has YouTube too, but I follow her on Instagram. She had a sponsorship with this brand. It's the Patch brand, and it's vitamin patches, and they make some for immune, sleep, what's up, and focus. And so I was like, oh yeah, I be my head be all over the place. Sometimes I be needing to sit down, and I need to focus. So I wanted to try them out. All right, well, we're gonna see what it's hidden for. It came in a two pack. Go to sleep. I don't know any lullabies. Rock a boy, baby, in the trees. <laughs> You're so sweet, baby. You are just the cutest thing out here. I got the batteries for the mirror and now I don't know where I want to put it. Because I got the shelves here, this here, and now I'm like, okay, where do I put the mirror? Because I don't want it to look ugly. And then I thought about putting it right here. Like, I feel like it could potentially be cute right here. But I don't know. But like, when you're washing your hair and stuff, do I want to look this way? Do I want to look this way? Like, I thought about maybe putting it right here and here. Let's just see. Let's hold it up in different places. decision because like once it's stuck it's stuck all right I think it makes more sense to go over there so I'm just gonna put it where I think it makes the most sense to go practicality wise show y'all i ended up putting it over here and it looks good boom, 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 boom. yeah i'm gonna end up putting another one of those shelves probably on the other side i put it a little high but 
because I wanted to be able to turn this so I can like watch my shows and do my hair at the same time. Big purr. Okay. I might not hear the baby screaming. I'm making lunch. I just have to come do that really fast. Let's go see what's the matter with the baby. Absolutely nothing is wrong with you. Hello. Hi. What's up? How we end up in a backseat? Just trying to get to the bag. Be on the same page, or the same way. Only keep the fam around me. So let me know what it's gonna be. I don't plan on getting no sleep. Why we doing our thing? Moving too fast. Candy paint with the windows all back seats. Crème brûlée. What they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money in the bank. We up till six in the morning. When the sunrise will be on it. I've been procrastinating packing all day. So, our laundry got delivered a couple days ago, and somehow it always ends up in Carmelo's room. And I don't really know what to pack because I feel like the weather is all over the place. Like, it's 80, but like, <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I don't know how to pack. <laughs> I don't know if I should pack shorts, if I should pack jeans. I guess 80 is pretty warm. Huh? Oh, you sure. Why? In Carmelo's room.
All right, it's very much later. We cooked lasagna. I couldn't cook with y'all. I was gonna do a little cooking with Kenna, but um, the kids, daddy wasn't here, and it was just y'all know. Y'all know me. I don't function well with the screaming and the lots of talking, so I had to put something on and just get it done. So, <clears throat> Aaron's brothers are here, and we got a little fire going. I'm gonna put some cookies in the oven. The lasagna it was made. I wouldn't do it again. I didn't like the way the first parsley tastes. But everything else was cool. Like seasoning the ricotta cheese and stuff. That's why I wanted to do it with y'all because I got that little recipe off TikTok. But um, yeah, like how to season your ricotta. Because I really don't ever like ricotta, but because it's not seasoned right. You're supposed to season it and blend it with other cheeses and a little egg and some seasonings. And the girl's recipe that I was following, she had put fresh parsley, but that's just personally not my thing. Let's make some chocolate, hot chocolates. And I got the new whipped cream from Target. I did already try it. It's real good. You gonna help me? Yeah. Carson is gonna help chocolate. us. I'm gonna switch the lights. Switch the lights. Switch the lights. Boom. All right. Let's get our hot cocoa pan. We gotta put milk in here. Hot cocoa. Heat up our milk first. Yeah, we gotta wait for it to heat up first. You wanna try this? Look at this. Look, they came out with some new whipped creams. Okay. They got peppermint and ginger. Is this um? I, I want to try Cordy's. Oh yeah, me too. No. I, did, I was gonna order the other day off the website. Yeah, this one's peppermint. So I, I love all hearts. This is gingerbread. Ain't this all up? What you think? Mm. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yay. So you can get this one. That's how y'all make it. Yeah, when, make, when you make a lot, you make it on the stove with milk. He just wanted to pour it before the milk was poured. I've never seen this thing. <laughs> what do you mean? Babe, we take cups. On the microwave? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's yeah, made mm -hmm. for a lot of people, though. You might as well do it on the stove. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, the whipped cream was good. They need to keep that all year round. It was good. The peppermint one is cool. It's going to be good on some hot chocolate. I forgot it was Thanksgiving. That's why everybody in town, at first I was like, hmm. Everybody's supposed to be getting a haircut and then somebody was uh, managed the communication. So it turned into a hot chocolate night. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's just the day. Today was again day two, not very productive. Not very productive day. I didn't get up till 5.45 today. Did like a slow start to the morning, so. I really gotta get this vlog edited, so I'm probably up late tonight trying to edit that. I'm really on vacay, we really on vacay mode. We just chilling, it's the holidays. It's the holidays. I don't know what I'm gonna do about December. I don't know, because I was thinking about, I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing vlogs, miss, but I don't know, because I'm getting my surgery right at the beginning of the month, so I'm definitely not, I'm not gonna be able to just like, I'm be high off drugs, like, you know, BFFR. I might post something I didn't want to post. <laughs> It's called Mo on Netflix. 
Oh, we're talking about movies. You like, watch oh, Manifest? Movies? I don't like that. It's oh. like it's like getting too weird. Like when they start like the damn sky start talking and shit. I said it's not for me. <laughs> it was already weird, but they were stuck for like five years of time and shit. Which I'm not doing too much of the sky talking and shit. I'm like it's too much. You watch Love Is Blind? Is that with the um the people from here? Well, they be finding um like love or whatever from I watch Love and Lock Up. What the fuck? Some jail shit. Love and Lock Up was good. Love and Lock Up was good. Please watch it. It's about this, it's about people that find love in jail or whatever, like, they be getting out. Like, this one girl, this nigga got 25 years, right? Mm -hmm. So his cousin went over to the girl, he was like, he wanna pose, he proposed or whatever, right? He the police. Proposed to the girl, uh, over the little jail line. After that, watch him go pose another girl, he did. So her and the girl meet fault at her job. What is that? Over the nigga in jail, jail, who got 25 years. Girl, please, that's what the fuck I was. And then they got a rapper. Like, Bitch, you got this hoodie on? Like, they fall like three times on the show. That shit. It's what, is it? what is it? What is it? What is it? It's so, uh, I watch it on my phone on this little like, app. Zeus. But that shit. It's Zeus. Oh, no, Zeus? No, 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 Zeus. Kids are here, so I guess we can go. I need to find my hat. I thought I was gonna have some more time. Mm. Hold on, we gotta get in the car. We got a busy day. Let's go. I'm gonna have to reverse. Here I go, leaving the house with no camera batteries, and we have like a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, let me just go ahead and back up. I'm kissing gangs, I'm body for body. These niggas know I ain't the one. It's a three step on bitch, I kill niggas dead. I ain't never been tired of running. Before I nigga play the fuck nigga lay and I put that shit on the floor. I run shit down, these niggas is not the same. Back of the bitches, switch on the stick, oh. It's the fact that I think I'm somebody. Princess, okay. Anyway. Okay, so like I said, very chaotic way to come into the day, but we got a lot of stuff to do today, and your girl really just been procrastinating, relaxing, doing all types of stuff. I don't know. Anyways, but now today we got to really crack down because it's day before Thanksgiving. Y'all know everything going to be closed for Thanksgiving, so first up on the agenda, we are headed to the doctor's office to do my COVID test because y'all know when we get back, we're doing surgery. So today we have to go by there, do COVID tests. I need to go pick up all my meds. Then we need to swing by Target, pick up any last minute things that we need for the trip since we're leaving on Friday morning. Um, and obviously everything's going to be closed for Thanksgiving. We got to pick up our ham. We got to get a lash fill. I low-key want to go to the mall because I want to get a fanny pack. I need to go buy Best Buy, drop off my cameras. A whole bunch of stuff that I don't even know how I'm gonna get done today, and I need to finish editing the vlog. So we already started off bad because this camera battery's gonna die. I'm gonna have to switch it out to the other one. So we might have to start vlogging on the phone at some point. <clears throat> I'm hoping it's ten, is it ten or nine? It's nine seventeen. I'm hoping to be done with all this like running around, ripping and running by twelve, so I can get home in time, cook the boys lunch, put them down for their nap. It's like I was saying. We gotta go by Best Buy. We, um, really, I just wanna drop off my cameras at Best Buy. And then that way they can, like, start. I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait to do that until we get back. I really don't know, y'all. I just want my stuff to be serviced and ready to go before the new year. And sometimes it can take, like, a couple of weeks. So, <clears throat> yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna be able to talk a lot today because we got so much to do. I don't want the battery to die. So, first stop is COVID test. And I will. See you guys once I get there. I'm debating if I should just run over to the mall because I'm closer to that side of town right now. If I just keep going down the highway, but I don't know. I don't want to be in there for a long time. I really just want a fanny pack and I should have called, but I just, I was having a slow morning. Let me not even make excuses. Okay. Mello had us up all night last night there's like okay let me just tell y'all what's deep there's like some 
I thought it was like paranormal activity going on in the house. I don't really talk about it on here because I don't want to like, I'm a scary person, you know, I don't watch scary movies. I don't like when people talk about scary shit. So I just don't be saying that. So I'm gonna keep it like, you know, like a black visa. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so anyways, basically this thing has been happening in Carmelo's room where like in the middle of the night, the lights just turn on. And so like, the lights do have a remote control that they're powered by so the first time it happened i thought like oh maybe i don't know something with the remote went off or whatever but it's like so anyways it happened once i personally even though i'm scary like i know that that kind of stuff is very much like real and i've experienced a lot of paranormal things like my entire life and i don't even know if i want to say paranormal but just like spiritual things like y'all know like generational curses oh yeah no like i got real like generational demons okay <laughs> and um so yeah i think i'm gonna just slide to the mall just real quick i look a mess damn i gotta stop leaving the house like this shit i just need me a little fanny pack for um for disney and i've been wanting needing to get one anyways okay let's just go so anyways the lights just keep turning on and so the first time it happened like Aaron was like yeah whatever didn't really believe me and then one night everybody was over at our house and we were like playing games and we didn't get upstairs until like late and the, the baby never cried he was asleep but his lights were on and the fan was off and all that kind of stuff so I was like told you so that is why we originally moved his crib back into our room because we wanted to sleep train him but like get him out of our bed but we were like we don't know what's going on with the room so a couple weeks went by we didn't see it happen so we were like okay we put him back in his room and then the other night Aaron got up with him and his light was on so Aaron laid in his room with him like turned the light off and then laid in his room with him just to see kind of like what was going on and um Aaron was like the light cut back on again but it's not like the the switches are flipping on it's just like the lights are coming on so it's most likely probably like an electrical thing and to be honest I think the place where we live like it's a new construction home, but it was built right after COVID and a lot of things that people are saying about homes that were built like in this time period from like 2020 to 2022 is that they're not built very well um just because of like the prices of everything and people getting cheaper products from like overseas and just like it's not built well and there are a couple of things in that home that are just like mm. you know we had like a sprinkler pipe burst not that long ago and like it was just on the side of the house but like flooded the side of the house and then we had um what did we what, what, what happened we had um um some of the cabinet doors like just they're heavy right so it seems like they're good quality but it fell off that bitch just fell off so whenever we get back from our trip i'm gonna have to like reach out to our landlord and just be like hey xyz is going on because it's just like i mean i need the light to work because i need him to be able to sleep in his own room like he's just in our bed and then when the light comes on that's interrupting his sleep habit so now he's thinking like oh i should be up at two three o'clock in the morning no uh-uh absolutely not that's not what we're going for at all. And I got on the wrong turning lane. Shit. Maybe it's not. I really need to start using the maps. I just be winging it when I be driving, thinking I'm knowing where I'm going, but I have horrible sense of direction. But anyways, yeah, so that happened. Melo had us up all last night because of that, because we woke up and his light was on. Like I said, I'm scary. So I woke his daddy up and I'm like, look, I see that light on in that hallway and that baby up, you need to go get him. <laughs> so he went to go get him and then this is definitely the wrong way so let me just get my dumb ass over mm -hmm. real bad okay but anyways yeah so i was like go get him and then he brought him into our room and he was literally up from like 2 30 to like 4 a.m would not go back to sleep um so we've been up basically all night and then he woke up at the crack of ass of course so yeah then Aaron and the boys had to leave early this morning to get haircuts and child anyways that was my big long rant about why I had a slow morning because I was up all night so yeah um and then everybody was getting their hair cut late last night at the house too so I didn't even end up going to sleep until like 12 o'clock we started watching this new show y'all it's funny as hell 
okay it's called um love during lockup i don't know where you can stream it at y'all know <laughs> we be using a lot of bootleg apps to watch like movies that are not out yet and like tv shows you know what i'm saying and i don't know if i say them things i don't know if that's illegal or not <laughs> but it's on like this little app and it's called um love before lockup and it's basically people who are like pen palling prisoners and like falling in love some of them is not really love some of them is scams but anyways it's funny these two girls get into a fight over this nigga that's been in jail for like 13 years i'm like okay listen so yeah anyways I guess we're going to the mall real quick, fast and hurry. I'm just going to run into Neiman. If I can't find anything in Neiman, I know one of the fanny packs that I really like, but I don't know if it's in stock in Bottega. So I don't want to be ripping and running around the mall, y'all. I literally look a mess. I have on my children's socks, my cleaning t-shirt, some black sweatpants, and then a hat. And I have like pimple patch stickers all over my face. It's not giving. It's not giving. I was going to text my girl at Fendi and see if they had any fanny packs because then I could just run in. She could send me a picture and then I could just literally go in really fast and grab it. But the last time I was in there, I didn't see anything. So. The mall's not open. So. Awkward. <laughs> I tried to pull the door and the police officer was like, mm, where are you going? And I was like, mm, leave Marcus. And they're like, mm, not open. But they was like, you can go in. I looked in Bottega, like in the window, and I do not see the fanny packs. Alright, bag secured. I ended up getting the black one. I know I showed you guys a different color because that's the first one that he brought out, and I was like, no, black would definitely be the perfect fanny pack. Like, don't get me wrong, I love it. If it was just like they had a um, in between size of the fanny and the crossbody, because it's it fit both my phones in there. So I know it'll fit like my phone, my wallet. And then my camera is pretty compact, so I'm sure it will fit in there. My main purpose for having it at Disney was just so that, like, whenever we go onto the rides and stuff and we leave our stroller, I can put like, you know, the essentials, like the little stuff in the fanny packs. I have it with me on the rides or attractions, whatever we're doing, etc. So yeah i think it's re it's real cute i love the material that it's made out of like the puffiness of it so i think it's really cute i think it's like a perfect like winter time um fanny pack like it's real cute so now we are gonna head over to um i guess pick up our prescriptions by target sorry i'm like all out in the road I'm going this way. That was nice of you for stopping. I don't know why you did that. Ooh. Every time I get a lot of crap. Alright, first up on the list, we need a onesies. Let's do puffs. And these. things that weren't on the list and forgetting one item that was on the list which was batteries but it wasn't an immediate necess necessity but anyways okay now we're gonna go ahead to pick up my medicine i'm really just trying to buy time because i don't want to go all the way home but i guess i'm just going to because my last appointment is not till 12 30 and it's only 11 and i'm trying to like just go to my appointment instead of going all the way home but I guess it don't make no difference. I'll just go home, get the boys some lunch, um, and then I'll just come back out and go to my lash appointment. My lash appointments are only um, 30 minutes anyways because I just go every week now and just get like a quick 30 minute fill, which I like better than going like and getting fills for one hour every two weeks. So yeah the freaking cart was so loud in target and the music was like blaring so i was like 
I'm gonna just do a little haul when I get home of everything that I got. I got some hygiene stuff. I'm literally so excited to start back filming and get ready with these, you guys. My only thing about them is just like, I want to be able to do like chit chat, get ready with me, and like answer questions and stuff like that, and that type of thing. But I don't do my makeup, so I'm trying to sit here and think about like what type, what am I gonna do? You know, cause like can't really talk that much in the shower. You know, all the things that I can put the girls onto is like hygiene stuff, but it's also that's also more like I don't anyways new content on the way just just know that and but I was in there and I started to get to smell and stuff and all of the natives holiday selection of body washes they have right now fire they smell amazing amazing so I picked up a couple of those I found some matching body scrubs um, I ended up finding the this other little thing smell real good we're gonna be smelling real good i found this body wash that matches perfectly with like my favorite perfume i'm actually wearing it today so i'm excited we gonna it's lit <clears throat> but i was checking out and the girl was like she saw my camera it wasn't on but it's like sitting up in the thing she was like what this gonna be a, a, a day in the life vlog and she was like laughing and i was like yeah and then she was scanning my stuff and she was like she was like these baby items for you you got kids i said yeah i have three she was like the pe the look on people's face when i tell them that i not only have one child but i have three kids is literally like what because she was like you literally look like you're 17 and i was like yeah i you know i know people probably see me out and they're probably like especially now that like my kids are getting older when I like look at videos of myself with them or if I'm just like looking at Carter because he's obviously the oldest I'd be like ain't no way ain't no way I'm your mama like we look like brother and sister we literally look like you look like you my little brother that's why I don't even get offended when people say stuff like that For the longest time whenever I would go like pick up Carter and Carson from um their daycare like any of the substitute teachers or like teachers that weren't there in the mornings who like didn't know me um, they'd be like, oh, your sister's here. And I'd be like, mm, I'm his mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I am young, but I don't know. Do I still look that young? Do I still look that, that young? I thought I was getting somewhere. I still get carded, you guys. It's ridiculous. I still get carded. If we go see a rated R movie, they will literally card me. They won't card Aaron, but they'll literally card me. And be like can I see her I'd be like are you shitting me like are you kidding me I don't look that young be fuck for real I don't look that young I at least look 18 be for real <laughs> like baby killing me with that shit and I guess it doesn't help because I'm like five foot tall but yeah anyways ciao that's the one thing I am really nervous about for him to start school like it was already kind of awkward like doing pickup and drop off at daycare because all of the parents are like so much older than me so like I just know when it's like school time and I'm like taking him to school and stuff oh it's gonna be so hard two things first thing Cynthia texted me and was like she messaged you about that house and you never responded so she was wondering if you were still interested she just messaged me okay okay what, what else are you gonna attack me about what's next what's up uh, <laughs> damn i forgot this second one i don't know where you at cvs picking up my meds mm. i think i'm so brain fried right now you just took your exam yes what's the word Sure enough, and I'm really trying to buy some time before I go get my lashes done at 12 30. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm picking up McKenna MCK, last name is Walker. Hey, I don't, I don't, know, what, I don't know where we left off at, but we're finna do an Amazon haul packages, unboxing real quick and then target right and then we went to the store okay i'm starting to remember so i got mom brain real bad amazon first. one thing that i still ain't ordered from amazon that i need to get is a box cutter i still need to get a box cutter 
And here I am, being dirty, using my hands. I was like, I honestly have no idea what this is. Alright, out of the first box, we got, I think this is, this is Carmelo's snowsuit for Colorado. How cute is this? It's all fluffy and cozy on the inside. Alright, I don't know what side of TikTok y'all are on, but the girls are going crazy over the, like, Arabian fragrances and perfume oils and I have yet to find where you could get it from and then I seen a girl do a recommendation on Amazon I was like say less this is what it looks like oh, was it a twist top oh it is an oil okay I didn't know if it was a perfume or an oil oh my gosh this smells so good Look at the packaging too, it's so pretty. This is the Swiss Arabian, it's in the um, the Leali Rouge. Definitely say it's on the sweeter side. It smells like something that I cannot put my finger on, but it's giving me like flash, like memory. It's giving me like, remember this, McKenna. But I don't know where it's from. Super strong. Super strong. This, it smells like, it smells like fresh, clean floral. So if you like a fresh, clean floral, I think you would like this. Because that's what it reminds me of. I'll link it. Oh my god. It's very young though, also. It's a very young scent. It's not like a super mature scent. I feel like it's very light and fun and clean and florally. Is the camera focused? Y'all know my blind eyes. I cannot see a damn thing. I need to get my eyes exam so bad so I can finally start wearing my glasses again. Next up, we got face tape. Because I think I told y'all I was going to start like taping my eyebrow. This eyebrow over here is real slow. She's real slow. So I'm going to start taping it up at night at my smile lines. Because it's supposed to be like like Botox, but not Botox. If that makes sense. All right. Let's see what else we got. How cute. Oh my God, they're so small. That's all right. White stockings. Uh, they came in a five pack. I just thought these would go a little bit better with the decor. Oh, did we get 10 stockings? One, two, three, four. Just kidding. It, it says five pack but they gave us seven is the lord trying to tell me something just kidding and then i also ended up getting this lighter it's another like little electric lighter i have one it's never where i need it to be when i when i need it so i just went ahead and got another one and i got this one in a gold color the downstairs aesthetic needs to be charged instead but I don't know. thought it was gonna be bigger than this I really wanted this little cute tea pot to make some tea in but it was that aesthetic because it's like a glass tea pot so you can see through it don't break in the camera Lord Whew. I have to bring some tea in Though. I need to make one or two cups of tea, but I got it because the filter is up here at the top. So you can put like different fruits and whatnot in it. I don't know if you can use it on the stove or not though. This last Amazon box I'm pretty sure is a Christmas gift. And I told y'all I was going to save the Christmas gifts for one whole video. Yeah, it is. These cookies right here are so delicioso. They're the Pecan Turtle Delight. 
And usually, I am not a pecan. I mean, not a pecan. I'm not a caramel type of girl. I'll be saying that, and then I'll be putting caramel in, in everything. I'm so indecisive. I feel like it's because I used to not like caramel, so I should stop saying that. I do kind of like caramel now. It's not my favorite thing. It's like not my favorite sweet, but I guess I like it. I feel like, I don't know about y'all, but when I got COVID, I feel like my taste buds changed so much. Like so many things I used to not like before, I actually like Oh, what's this? It's a Christmas gift. It's a Christmas gift. Okay. I'll put that in the Christmas box. This is what we got from Target. Quick Target haul. I ended up getting all these little travel things from Target just because they're cheaper than the ones off Amazon. And honestly, personally, I've gotten ones off Amazon that are super cute and aesthetic, but I end up like either like they spill, I end up throwing them away, whatever the case. So these were like $2, I think. So I won't feel as bad. Um, I ended up getting some EOS shave butter. And then I got some travel deodorant, travel body wash. I really love the raw sugar line. I just haven't used their products in a while, but when I saw they had a travel, I picked this over like the Olay or whatever. And then Johnson & Johnson baby lotion, a little travel Listerine. And then I also got the Blueberry Bliss, um, the Blueberry Bliss leave-in conditioner for Carson's hair. And then I needed some cotton swabs, so I got some little cotton swabs. Let's get into the native. Okay, listen, everything that they have out right now smells so good. But I got the sugar cookie one specifically because I want to do like a cute little um Christmassy type of vibe routine with that and then I also found a scrub that pairs really nicely with it um and then I had to pick up this it wasn't what I was actually looking for but it um because they didn't have it but this still smells really good it's the Frenchies cashmere vanilla soothing body serum stick and I didn't even really like see what it's for but it says a bottom serum stick infused with magnesium, squalene, and sea water extract to target hydration and re relaxation. Glide onto the skin anytime, anywhere. This cashmere vanilla that they have, it smells delish. So I just put it. And then I got a little travel dove. For Aaron, and then I got the baby his little melts, his little yogurt melts. Take those with us on the trip. Okay, I also got this scent from Native. It's the fresh mistletoe, and it just smells really, really clean and fresh. I don't know what it is, but it's like it's like very much unisex, but more on the masculine side, and it just smells amazing amazing like amazing and i feel like it would pair really well with the um what is it i have a perfume anyways it would smell really good with this i'll show you guys when i think about it um okay and then i needed a scrub because i'm like okay if i'm gonna get back into the routine and doing the routines with the girlies tree hut is usually not my go-to scrub however i have not found an alternative for the vanilla bean tree hut scrub like just a classic vanilla scrub so i was like let me just go ahead and get this so i can just have it you know because you can't go wrong with vanilla vanilla is like a classic scent right and then they have a sugar cookie which i'm pretty sure this is new this year like i don't think they had this last year I could be mistaken, but it's the Tree Hut Frosted Sugar Cookie. And sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. Putting the girls on. They don't smell exactly the same, but body washes and scrubs, I feel like, are not the main characters of the routine. They're more so just for the vibe. Because, let's be honest, there's not a lot of scents that last out of the shower for a super long time. It might fill up the bathroom. Make it smell good, you know? Matchy matchy, help layer up some scents, but they're not the main stars, right? Y'all, dupes. This is, listen, 
I'm gonna go get it from upstairs just to be sure, but when I smelled this in the store, I don't know what made me pick this up, but it's the Whipped Scrub from Raw Sugar, and it's the Beach Rose Coconut Milk and Shea. This smells like, you know the Whey Body Scrub, the Melrose, it's like super trendy right now, if you know, you know. This smells just like it. But I'm sure for like a fraction of the cost, like this is probably $12, and the Melrose Scrub from Whey is probably like, what, 30 something dollars, I think? Don't quote me, I really don't know. Um, and then I got Mellow some onesies, just regular plain onesies. Those are long sleeve. I also got him these little puffs. He's never had the puffs before. Um, so I just got these. These are by the Beach Nut brand as well, I believe. But anyways, yeah. This is like strawberry basil. That probably might be good. I got him some little just like pants to have on to sleep in. Um, and then, so cute, you guys, look. It says Santa's favorite. It's so, so cute. Had to get him some holiday stuff. We kind of like skipped over Halloween with him and I was feeling real bad because we had bought him some Halloween stuff and then we like couldn't find it around Halloween. And then of course I found it like a couple days ago. But anyways, I also got him this little bib that says my first Christmas. So I just thought that would be cute. And then I got him some little socks to go with it on Christmas morning. And then I just saw this and I thought it was like adorable, the color of it and what it, how it looks. And it's so soft. And I thought this would be like a cute little church onesie. Just giving me sweater vibes. And then I got him a short sleeve pack of onesies as well for our trip to Orlando. All right. So that's everything that I got from Target. All right, let's unbox the Bottega. Um, so I can just show you guys what it looks like. I know I showed y'all a little bit in the store, but these little Bottega bags are so cute. They wrapped it up real nicely for me. In a bag, inside of a bag, inside of a bag. Very good. <laughs> This is what it looks like. I think it's so super cute. I really like the other colors they had in it too, to be honest. Like I would definitely get it in more colors when the time is right. Um, but basically it's a fanny or a crossbody, which I like because I like wearing stuff like this too. Because sometimes you don't always want it on your waist, like in your lap. Like sometimes it needs to be out of the way. So you can wear it as a crossbody and it has so many different um like sizing options like you can size it up for small to pretty large so has two little silver hardware buckles and then let me see if i can even get the buckle on there and then it has like a little loop and a pocket piece for the extra so it's not hanging out and it's so pretty like it has like this iridescent type of look to it or like velvet almost kind of look it's real pretty it looks like probably nothing on camera but in person it's like real pretty and then you open up the inside and it has magnets which i love so these two parts right here in the top have magnets so it just like stays closed easier than a zipper right right and then if you open it up this is about how much space you have in there. I'm used to having like mini bags and stuff. So as a place for like your, um, your wallet. What is this? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Okay. Anyways, but it has like a place for your like wallet, a little bit of cash, your ID. I usually just have a card holder anyway. So I'll just put that back there. And then it fits both my phones in there and then yeah, snaps closed, put hand sanitizer in there, whatever you need. I put it on the smallest level, but oh yeah, I thought it was super cute. So there you have it, our little fanny for the trip. It would be the perfect size, again, if they had it like, a, if they had an in-between size. Always, always, always. Keep all of your receipts and cards if you buy anything, even if you don't think anything of it that way. If you decide one day to resell it, 
You have all of your documentation and etc. So, speaking of which, oh, so this is where my receipt is at. I'm just probably going to pack it in my luggage in the dust bag. I personally, as of right now, keep all of the like bags or boxes, anything my stuff comes in, again, just in case, like, you know, if you decide to like resell or whatever, um, designer items. And then I also feel like for buying designer items, like you want to preserve them as long as possible. So I hang on to all the stuff and then one day I'll be able to pass it down to the imaginary granddaughter that I'm going to have that probably won't happen because boys are the only thing that run in the family and um I don't know I hope I get a granddaughter one day <laughs> but it's like if it follows the generational pattern like my boys will just keep on having boys but all right y'all that was it for the haul I'm going to finish making my cookies and then I have some editing I need to wrap up before we go on the trip so I really want to get that done and then we'll finish packing later tonight and just getting all of the stuff together and ready okay <clears throat> this is gonna start all over the place but we just gotta do it because I don't know how it was the start right we've been here for two days now if you've never been to Disney before you're not gonna know how to do Disney like it's extremely hard to understand the concept of how you get on rides where you go to the park going here and here and here etc eating reservations dinner when they say you need to book six like six months in advance your itinerary yeah i'm too <clears throat> let me just start here we are all back at the room now it is 4 40 and we are about to just chill out take a nap we've been gone since like 9 a.m right so anyways We pretty much, I'm washing my face just because I just need to wash it again because we went outside, but we pretty much did not know what we were doing for the first day, was it day, day or two? And so, like, we didn't get a lot out of it. And originally, we had booked to stay five days, but then I was like, no, let's just do three because, like, I honestly didn't know, like, if the kids would last or not. But now that we know what we're doing, we decided to stay an extra day. So we we're supposed to leave tomorrow, but now we're leaving. Um, today's Sunday. We're leaving on Tuesday. Let's just start from the beginning. If you don't want to hear about my Disney rant, um, skip over it. But I'm going to share what I think is helpful if, you want, if you're coming to Disney and planning on going to Disney. So, one, since I also like didn't get to vlog a lot, like the first couple days, it's hard to vlog while you're here because it's just like so much. And with three kids, like, yeah, y'all going to get some clips, but child anyways so um we are staying at animal kingdom lodge we have like the safari view is our room and so that's why we can see like the animals and stuff from our balcony it ha does have a balcony that comes with the room um there's a very large pool and there's about three restaurants on site here two are quick one is quick service one is buffet and one is sit down eat so so far we've got we're gonna eat at the buffet tonight and then we'll have eaten at all the restaurants I will say I'm not disappointed in the food whatsoever anywhere we've gone so far like I thought the food would be like really bland flavorless just not very good everything I've had I've been like pretty satisfied with so um yeah I think it's safe to say the food here is decent even the quick service food like the chicken tenders and stuff it's good right so anyways yeah my airport tips planning on staying at Disney and not doing like anything else like going to the beach or anything we don't need a rental we decided not to get a rental there's definitely enough like easy transportation shuttles buses everything to get you to exactly where you need to be plus you don't have to pay for parking so we did not end up getting a rental which i'm glad because um we don't need it like i said we're not leaving disney so we're good so i would recommend taking your own stroller yes the ones that you can rent are like the ones that are side by side and they don't i've be seen people struggle with them they're not very good so I would say bring your own stroller. We brought our Upper Baby Vista and we have like the two seats and then for Mello, um, Aaron's just been like carrying him in the, um, the Artie Pop. And so, yeah, anyways, take your own stroller. 
I didn't know this, but you guys, you can select Ubers that pre-come with car seats. So my suggestion would either be to have somebody drop you off at the airport in your car with your car seats, if you have kids, obviously. And then when you get to the airport, um, like in Orlando, you can just request an Uber that has car seats. That way you don't have to travel with all of your car seats. Rental companies also offer this too. Shout out to the girls because y'all are the one that put me onto that. I never knew that. So we we're going to love all the car seats. And then we didn't end up having to because Aaron's dad just drove us to the airport because he was in town for Thanksgiving. Now we don't have any of the car seats with us. We just have the stroller and the luggage and it was way simpler. If you're going to come, spend the money and get the Lightning Plus or the Genie Plus app, which will tell you what rides are around, what the wait time is. Get the Lightning Pass. That way, like we haven't waited pretty much in line for more than five, I say max, minutes for any ride that we've gone on because we have the Lightning Pass. Um which is like an add-on, it's like a fast pass if you go to Six Flags, but it's definitely worth it because the wait time on the rides are ridiculous. Like you would probably do like, on the website it even says like if you don't get the lightning pass, you'll probably do like one to two rides a day. <laughs> and that's not worth it for all the money you're already spending for coming. So get the lightning pass and, and then you can do a lot of stuff. We probably did like six rides today. So yeah. Talks about the food, the dining, transportation, where we're staying. What else? There's a pool here. There's no room service here. I will say that. Everything stays open pretty late though. I want to say the gift shops and stuff open till 10. You can have your own food. You can bring your own like stuff to the park if you want to like save money and you can do all of that. So that is nice. Um, Air tag your stroller because they will move it which if you're looking into disney you probably know but like they keep the stroller like you can't you get on any of the rides or go on any lines with your stroller so you have to park your strollers and like people will come around and just like the like the help character cast whatever they're called they will move your strollers um so you can air tag it that way they don't get lost especially if you have like one that looks similar to somebody else's put a balloon on it get a stroller sign whatever we don't have the stroller sign but we have the air tag and we've been able to find our stroller pretty easily every single time so yeah so far we have gone to only magic kingdom and animal kingdom and animal kingdom was cool it's getting zoo we did the like little safari that was fun um but again we didn't know what we were doing that day so it was very chaotic we did a couple things and then we came back to the room we ate we did dinner and then the boys swam until the pool closed last night and then we came back went to sleep I'm trying to get through this so I can tell you what's fresh on my mind. So basically with the reservations for food and dining, you can book it up to like six months in advance. We were ha we have been able to eat everywhere we wanted to eat, booking either the day before or same day booking. Um, the only thing is, is like if you miss it, you will be charged um, and you do need to check in like 20 minutes before your reservation so you can get your table ready, um, which you can all do in the app, right? But um, we did miss one reservation this morning for breakfast. It was like 7.50 and... We were up, but we weren't ready. So you do need to give yourself time, especially, and pay attention to where you book your reservations because, like I said, there's only three restaurants here, but there's obviously a ton of dining options, but you have to take transportation to each different resort or, um, like, park to dine if you decide to eat off, like, out of your resort, whatever. And, again, you gotta... The buses run pretty quick, but just... Have time for that we didn't have time to catch the bus and make it to our reservations so so we missed it this morning at 7 50. so we just ended up eating at the quick service which is where you can just like pick up food fast it's basically like fast food for disney um and it's pretty good they have waffles pancakes eggs bacon and their potatoes are really good so i was happy okay if you're coming with your kids and they're younger than like five there are different height restrictions on different rides and so for like one of the rides there was a height restriction of like 35 inches so both of the boys could go but they had to have a, someone 18 or older with them sitting by them so like me and Aaron had to take turns going with them so someone could hold the baby because the baby couldn't go on the height restricted rides if that makes sense but every other ride that we went on Melo was able to get on with us and we all rode together so it's just some rides and it depends what you end up doing it's so cool though you guys like besides all the chaos and the madness like the first day i was like okay this is not worth it like this is too much like i feel like we weren't gonna like enjoy enjoy it or get the most out of it now that we figured it out or aaron figured it out because i do not know how to use the app at all but he figured it out it's now it's like okay we got it 
So we decided to stay another day. That way we can go to Halloween Studios and ride some more rides. And tonight we are going to the... He is not trying to take a nap. And everybody else is trying to take a nap. So today is actually Carter's actual fifth birthday. So tonight we're going to the um, Mickey's Christmas party, which they basically closed down the park for general admission at six. And then the party starts at seven. And it's basically just different holiday activities, parades, desserts, treats. You can eat dinner there, fireworks show. Um, I don't know if the rides are open or anything like that. I really don't know what to expect, to be honest. I've tried to look into it to see what we could do, but I couldn't get a good idea. Besides, it's going to be Christmas cast characters and fireworks at 10 o'clock. So we're going to eat dinner at the buffet here, and then we're going to go there. Um, Mellow has done really good the whole entire time. I think it's because like Aaron carried him in the carrier for the entire time. However, you bug. He's not been sleeping good in the room. <clears throat> I wish we would have probably gotten maybe like a little bit bigger of a suite or like something with like separate areas because usually when we stay places we have like rooms like or at least a separate area for us to sleep and the kids to sleep and it's been a lot of back and forth of like this kid wakes up that kid wakes up type of thing we're sleeping in like two queen beds in the room basically next to each other so that's one thing that I will say there is no bathtub so he can sit up on his own so either Aaron holds him in the shower or he we just sit him up in the shower but if you need to bring a baby bathtub because I don't know if they have bathtubs or you can request it but we don't have one in our room so that was just something that I wish I would have thought about but anyways hello besides the little Disney rant that's it for now I just had to wash my face really fast and Carson's taking a nap Carter's playing on his iPad and then Aaron's trying to take a nap because he's been carrying babies pushing the stroller doing the whole itinerary for our entire trip and I've literally just been going along for the ride so <laughs> love that for me but he's tired and then we have to get up and go to dinner uh, in an hour so yeah I'm gonna try to vlog more while we're here going forward but like I said the first couple days we did not know what we was doing it was getting very much very much chaotic and child yeah so now we're settled and everything is fine so yeah I'll see you guys when we go to dinner. We'll vlog from here on out. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, I'm going to put some moisturizer on my face. See you later. See you later. Can you see over there? I don't know what he's looking at. You're just sweeping. Sweepy bug, sweepy bug, sweepy bug. Hey. 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 Hey, hey, he's so ticklish. Hey, Good morning. Look, there's a giraffe right there. Can y'all see him? Can y'all see him? Oh yeah, look at him. He's right there. How cute. You see him? Yeah. Look at him. Oh, they must be feeding him in those trees. Yeah, he's eating his breakfast. Say good morning. Good morning. You can definitely see me. Oh, yeah? You can definitely see me too. You're so excited. So gone all over you.
love with you like a drunk hat again. Like Tracy and Katie, I trust in my n- they never betray. 
pay me. Met all these they sweeter than Sadie. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Did all the favors. Birthday. Thank you for saying happy birthday. Channel. So today, I'm gonna be doing the Y'all niggas, huh, then a scat, bitch, I'm 